Hi, lovely to have you here. Welcome to the Electro Revolution channel. My name is Michael and I'm a car and tech enthusiast. In the episodes to follow, we're going to be going through the BYD SEAL OTA updates. Now we have been waiting a long, long time in Australia for these updates. Some people over a year. So I hope you enjoy these episodes. So in this episode, we're going to be going through the car settings and the console prior to performing the upgrade. Now it's important we do a comparison of what we've got today to what we've got after the upgrade and we can see the new features that are being added. So this is the process of the OTA update on the BYD seal. Uh, as we can see right here, it says upgrade with a little red arrow. Now, I haven't done this before on this particular car. This will be the first time because I only got this car recently. Now, what we do want to see is firstly the menus that we've got now. And then when we do the upgrade, we'll take you through the upgrade. And when we do the upgrade, we want to see the updated menus after that and also the applications. So firstly, we'll take a browse of the current systems that we have here. And as we can see, we've got the BYD Assistant, Android Auto, phone, Apple CarPlay, the Media Center, the radio, music, vehicle image, navigation, themes, dash cam. And the dash cam, of course, is this one here. and Spotify, utility tools, where we've got file manager, disable auto start and data monitor, album, the settings, smart charging, the DAB, the browser, the BYD store and the manual. So if we go to the BYD store, we can see we have an update there for the browser, now we've got Amazon Music and the Stingray Karaoke. Now I will attach myself to the wireless. Okay, so I'm now attached to the wireless, so the setting for the upgrade will be a lot quicker. Now, if you go into the settings of the car, we can see here under the system, we've got the normal connections. Under audio, this is what we've got under audio. The display. Adaptive brightness, instrument cluster brightness. And the version, we've got an upgrade option there. We've got the view of IVI details. And it seems to show us here what we're running. The apps. And more. The auto sync time, 24 hours, the units, and all this other information. So we go to ADAS controls. We've got the automatic cruise control, the driving assist, active safety, parking assist, and energy manager. Charging settings. Consumption. And the consumption curve. So we go into the vehicle settings. We've got the chassis. All the ambient lighting within the car. The heads up display, which comes on the seal premium, not the dynamic. And it also comes on the performance model. This is a premium model. Rear view mirrors, auto fold, 
the greetings, the air conditioning, the seats of course with the seat adjustment and the heating. The locks, of course there's a digital key information. It should retain all of that information once we've done the upgrade. The notifications. The cabin perception, which is the child protection. That's if you've left the child within the car and it starts alarming the car, beeping the horn and for servicing. Now we can also go to the air conditioning just to see how this is menuized, menuized, just to see how this is menuized. Air purification. And back to the settings. So that's the vehicle. And of course we've got navigation because I know they have done an upgrade on the navigation. So if we were to go from here to say Melbourne It would bring the entire route. Now what we can see here is I definitely don't have 847 kilometers in this car. If Even if I charge it to 100%, it does about 500 and something kilometers. So like it'll say 650, but in real world, it does about 550 or something like that. So it doesn't show charging stations as you can see under this map. And the other thing we note here, and I know this comes with the upgrade, is this bottom menu, it's not adjustable. This is just a plain menu and there's not much really you can do with it. Of course you can tilt the screen, which shows you a much different view of, um, of the unit. And now let's perform the upgrade. I hope you enjoyed that video. That was the first episode of the series. What we did in this particular episode was we went through the current settings in the console and on the car for the current version that I received in December 2024 and now being May 2025, BYD started to release the OTA updates at the beginning of May. I recorded this at the end of May. Uh, that's because BYD released these things in batches and I guess because the car was so new, I was near the end of the batches. But anyway, uh, what we've done is we've gone through the original settings. When we go through the upgrade path, we can then reboot, of course, the console. We can then look at the new settings and compare them with these current settings. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend. Next episode is coming. I hope to see you there. Until then, bye for now.